True. Those but that's like, one of the beauties about like the game. It's like three days long. It's one of the beautiful things about the game is it, that it, it just... It's also one of the reasons end. it's going down the shitter in terms of ratings. <laughs> yeah, I don't care. <laughs> don't change the game for ratings. <laughs> no. Uh, have the umpires be robots. Do it. Hey, welcome back to our stupid reacts with some Corbin. Oh, robot, you have no idea how much I robot wish, umpires stupid. Like, they would have some type of robot in in NFL football for for stupid calls that uh, that referees. That's make. a sport that needs it because not only are the calls stupid, there are some calls that make you wonder how much they got paid to make the call. Yeah. Seriously. So I'm like, okay, certain things you can't have a person upstairs that like is like, no, that wasn't the right call. I've seen it. Reverse the call. And we do that in baseball. I just don't understand. I don't like. I don't want your human stupid element. <laughs> I want you to call the game. I correctly. love it as long as if you know there was a mistake, you fix it. That's what baseball did. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Yeah. Anyways, uh, what so what are we doing? What are we doing? I don't know. I don't know. What are we doing? What are we doing? I don't know. What are we doing? Let's do it. Let's do it. I don't know what we're doing, but let's do it anyway. That was me in math class. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm going to do it anyway. Today uh, we got a song by. Uh, oh yeah, say his name. Shashwat Sakdev. Uh, first, who, we were first introduced to him. Uh, Uri. Uri. Or U-R-I. It was or... one of the first times I remember, like, really thinking about how magnificent the score was yeah. in a film early on in the channel. Uh, this, I think it was about a month ago, but this is actually his own song. Uh, so um, it's called... Forgive mispronunciation. Baton Baton Main. Uh, by him, and it's featuring... Yep, featuring Anumita Nadesan. Which is fantastic. Uh, uh, I know he reached out while we were in India. We just were never able to actually go to connect. Uh, go connect because I, I, I forget what we were doing. Yeah, but. it was. Uh, we've actually had a connection point, not a regular point of communication. But I remember after we did the review of Uri, yeah. he sent us messages, both of us on yeah. on Instagram, and just said, "Hey, thanks for the shout out and your appreciation of the film." So yeah. he's been great. Um, but so wanted to check this out. Already has a million views. I'm excited from, to hear uh, this. August 28th. I still. Every once in a while, I bust that song out when my workout. Both versions. Oh, there's, yeah, there's the show version. Let your light shine. <laughs> oh, no, song. not that. <laughs> there's a version with vocals, and then there's the version that's just that training montage from the film. I listen to both versions. Here we go. Is that him singing? That's nasty. <laughs> 
Father's Day, everybody. <laughs> that was freaking fantastic. We love a good, supportive parent. That, we, oh. It was also uh, really beautiful because, obviously, at the beginning, I thought it was going a different direction. I did, too. I was like, oh, this is clearly a, a neglectful father and right. it, his mother who loves his son. And then, obviously, transferred into this dad just doesn't know. Yeah. He, probably, he was probably never shown affection as a, as a child. Exactly. So nature he, versus nurture, right? Right. And then he doesn't know how to show that affection that he wants to to his child because he was raised with he no raised, affection at all. Right. And then the, and eventually, he realizes, I'm going to miss it. Cats yep. in the cradle, man. Uh, so it's it's absolutely fantastic. Obviously, great production of a song. Oh, absolutely, my stars. Absolutely beautiful. Holy cow. Not only was the composition of the song, so for those who don't, understand the particular terminologies of the differentiation between the technical parts of recording a song versus the actual writing of songs. So if you talk about composition, you're talking about the actual writing of the song. And then when you're talking about the arrangement, you're talking about what instruments are used, how they're used, when they're used. And then when you're talking about production, you're talking about the person who's sitting at the board and recording everything, mixing it, mastering it. So for composition, the song itself no matter how you would do this thing instrumentally or production-wise, was a really nice song. Mm -hmm. Then add to it, it's so unique. Mm -hmm. Like, it's a, it's it's both an upbeat song and a ballad at the same time. Mm -hmm. And there's moments where it's reflective and emotional and then other moments where you want to dance. And I thought the video was perfectly complimentary. I'm assuming it is also lyrically. There were no yeah. subs, obviously. I wonder how much of it is his story at all. I don't, that's I, what I was wondering. I don't know his story, obviously. Right. Or if it's obviously... This is or probably, a story he knows. It's just a story that's probably relatable to a lot of people. Sure. Especially in India. Sure. Of a, a father who's more cold to them. Yeah. Uh, as opposed to... And the amount that, that I've learned that parents don't say I love you to their children. Exactly. <laughs> Which is totally foreign to an American parent. Not, For the most part. Not telling my uh, my children that I love oh, them my stars. multiple times a day is uh, scary to me. Me too. <laughs> I just I can't fathom that, but it's there. Different it's cultures, definitely happens. obviously, I get it. Uh, but <laughs> the fact that it was beautiful, the fact that it was, he, was, he was like, I want I want to show him I love him. I want to show him I'm supportive of him. I want to show him yeah. that I'm proud of him. How do I do that? And then he eventually learns, obviously, to be a little more physical and, and affectionate. Which... Yeah, and it's not just about the buying of the thing. Yeah, It's about Spending buying time. the thing that you know they really value and then valuing what they value, too. That's why I loved him beginning to like the music mm -hmm. and then being together, yeah. just being together. Like, That's what kids want. Have buddy times with your kids. Yeah. And another thing about the production value, 
do yourself a favor. If you didn't listen to this with headphones on or a really good sound system, do it. Mm -hmm. To listen to the choices that are made in some very, very dry spots where you've had a lot going on and there's been even some reverb and then all of a sudden the female vocal comes in and toward the end of it, before you get into what I think is the chorus, there's this compression on the vocal. It's tight, it's dry, it's, and then it just goes, and there's the reverbs back. And it does that throughout as well. There's moments where it's just ethereal and then all of a sudden it just gets really tight and dry and it, it's magnificent. Just absolutely fantastic song. Just like your mother, tight and dry. Anyway, it's <laughs> fantastic video. <laughs> I, had to, I had to bring down the video somehow. Uh, <laughs> uh, let us know what you thought about this song and what other songs we can react to down below. Just